Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> good morning, networkers. Hey, good morning. It's about uh, 5.45 on Sunday morning here in Central Park, just getting my workout in. You know, I want to speak to everyone on the line here today, on the video I was watching today, about building your business and how it relates to putting in the extra time and effort to build your business. How many times have you heard from people, oh, I don't have time to build my business? Here all the time, right? I don't have time to build my business. Let me just turn this around here. I don't have time to build my business. And really, it's not so much time. It really goes along the same lines as I don't have the money. You know, you ever heard, I don't have the money when you're showing them your business? And, you know, there's a kind of a saying that goes pretty much like this. You know, if I parked a new Mercedes on your driveway, it's a forty, fifty thousand dollar Mercedes, and I said I could you could have it for a thousand bucks. Can you get the money? How many people would find the money? <laughs> right? Just about everybody, right? It's yours, a thousand bucks. Just about everybody would find the money for that. <clears throat> so I don't have the money is not necessarily a, a valid excuse in most cases. Not every case, but most cases. And that goes along with I don't have the time to build your business. The reason really is is that you haven't, or that person hasn't, or whoever I'm speaking to, whatever applies, they haven't found a strong enough why to do the business, to overcome I don't have enough time. You gotta get that passion. This happens to be in the reservoir here, if you're looking around. You have to have that passion in your business to be able to find the time. You know, I know people have kids, and some people have kids and a family, and I'm going to have two kids and a dog and a wife and a family, and, and I love them to death. And um, But you have to find time to do your business. And here, just like working out in the morning, I just get up earlier than everybody else. I work harder than everybody else. You know, I, I put more time and effort into anybody else and go the extra mile than everybody else. Well, maybe I shouldn't say everybody, but I'd say majority of people. You know what I'm saying. So in your business, if you haven't reached the heights in income that you're looking for in your network marketing business, you have to really examine yourself, examine what you're putting into your business. You know, uh, the time and effort you're putting into it, or maybe you think you're putting a lot of time and effort into it, but examine what quality time you're putting into your business. Are you putting, oh, uh, you know, a lot of busy time in your business when you should be really prospecting and doing something that's productive? Maybe you're going in and you're, you're answering emails all day. <clears throat> or going through all your spam folders all day. Maybe you're going out and uh, you're surfing the web or going on YouTube or going on Facebook and not being productive. Not that Facebook isn't productive, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of things on Facebook that's not productive. Oh, there's a raccoon. Yeah, we do have raccoons here in Manhattan. Let's go see if we can see them. There he is. Oh, a big one too. So, you know what I'm saying. Where are you? There you are. And Wow, big raccoon. Nice one too, big tail. There he goes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I love that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's get back to the point. So, examine your day, <clears throat> examine your week, examine your month, almost like your budget, all right? If you have a budget for your finances, have a budget for your time in your business and budget your time. Try to be as productive as possible. And that's where I get into a lot about um, outsourcing your business. You know, all of that stuff that takes and eats up your day. I mean, I went through that so long where I, you know, I'm an entrepreneur and I, I, I always wanted to try to, um, there we go, it's flying away, it's gonna land. And you know, I wanted to do everything myself and be in total control and, and I still fight with that every single day. And my wife tells me that all the time. You gotta, le gotta let it go and you gotta outsource it to other people. So I have a, a team of outsourcing people that just do minor tasks for me that, that are just not worth my time. Going through my emails, sorting and sifting what I should look at, what I shouldn't look at, going through my, uh, my support tickets and answering all of that stuff, you know, doing all the little things that I can pay somebody $6 an hour to do, you know. So you might want to look at that as well too. If you're interested in outsourcing, get in touch with me and I'll show you the company that I use that I've been using for well, over a year, probably almost two years now. And uh, 
they've been very, very productive and, and allowed me to expand into other things and, and uh, do other, other, um, other, you know, businesses and launch different programs and so on. And people ask me, how the hell you do so much of your, so much stuff? You're always doing, launching new things and, and so on. Because I believe in growth and I'm able to, um, to be able to do that. You know, not that I'm doing it all myself. No, I mean I have uh, other things going on that allow me to do that. So, and these are beautiful. These are, um, if you ever seen them, uh, bleeding hearts, and they're going to be blooming and turn into like these little hearts. If you ever seen them, they look like hearts dropping off. You know, this part over here, and uh, they look like little hearts just uh, just bleeding out, and they kind of drip down at the bottom. It's, it's really kind of neat. My parents used to have one of those plants used to bloom every single year. So anyway, <laughs> I love, hope you're enjoying these types of videos. You know, this is this is what I call reality MLM, guys. Reality MLM. So cherry blossom time, and I want you to take to heart what I'm telling you today is to look at that and see if you can rearrange your day, rearrange your time, and be able to make it productive. You know, but you got to try to at least do five to ten hours a week. So, you know, if you less than that is so hard. I mean, you got to try at least five to ten hours of I'm talking, talking quality, productive time. You know, that's that's an hour a day, prospecting, calling people up, trying to close a sale. Like in, in uh, my program, uh, the Cash Secret, we have closers. So if you don't have time to close people, and I hate the word, I should, maybe I should change the name. I hate the word closer, but you know, they're there just to field the questions and guide the person through the information. And I always believe in not pressuring people, but I also believe in asking for the sale. So, you know, if you don't pressure people, they ne sometimes they never make a decision. You have to ask them to make a decision, right? So develop a relationship with those people and, you know, ask them, hey, uh, where can you send the money? <laughs> you know, uh, you know uh, that kind of thing. So, th so uh, you know, maybe you do a, a <clears throat> closers, maybe your company has a closer system. Um, maybe your outsourcing people can do that for you. And uh, But back to my point for the whole video this morning, is be productive with your time. And also back when I started, and here just uh, going for a brisk walk this morning, and uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be running when I'm doing this video, but I do. So get out and exercise. You don't have the energy. That's what exercise does. It's going to give you the energy to be able to have more energy. So you're going to have to go past, say, the first 30 to 45 days of the aches and pains if you haven't been doing it. So you're going to have to go past that in order to be able to, to um, you know, get more energy. So when you start exercising, you get that drop. It hurts. You know, it hurts a lot. Your body hurts. Your joints hurt. You, you know, you get the, uh, the side pains and the whole deal until you get your body gets used to it and then you start picking up the pace and getting better and better at it. Now that's the same thing as your prospecting as well too. If you're first starting in network marketing or you're first starting a certain technique, well at the first, you know, your your prospecting bones are going to hurt, your prospecting joints are going to hurt, your prospecting muscles are going to hurt until you get used to it and then you know what to say, you know how to say it. You know how to develop relationships. You know how to to, um, to help those people get off to a fast start. You know all that kind of stuff. Ooh, two beautiful dogs coming up here. But um, you know that's a, so I you know I try to relate all the stuff I'm doing to network marketing because uh, maybe that'll help you visualize what I'm talking about here. So get out there, go get them. It's the greatest business in the world. It really is. And. You can really do it, folks. You can really do it. I'm talking to anyone listening to this video here today. You can do it. I have confidence in you can do it. The only person that's going to defeat you is you because the tools are out there, the systems are out there, great companies out there, and you just need the drive and the motivation to be able to get through those barriers when you get started or whatever barriers are coming. I mean, you think. That, uh, that I haven't had any barriers in my business. You know, it's a lot of times people say, oh, you're making a lot of money and that's because you have this and you have that and you do that. Yeah, well, I didn't start that way, you know? I, and I'll tell people that if you were to, 
if I were to not use any list that I have and just go out and just start total cold marketing, that I would still make a lot of money. Because where does that come from? It comes from the belief that I know that the systems I have work and the techniques that I have work. It's just that you don't know that they work or you don't have the belief in yourself or you don't have the belief in your company or you don't have the belief in your product or something is stopping you from, from really taking off and really doing it and doing whatever business you want. So hopefully you enjoyed this video t this morning. Get out there, do it. Get out there and make, you know, make yourself, you know, you're, you know, you're more powerful than you could possibly imagine. You really are. And, and uh, take charge of your life and make it happen. So this is Peter Wolfing. Let me just turn this around. This is Peter Wolfing. Go out and do it. Go out and do it. You can do it. Come on uh, the boot camp webinars every Wednesday. Wednesday nights, 10 o'clock Eastern time. www.bootcampwebinar.com. And we're going to go over all sorts of things that can help you and your business. The other thing I want to tell you about is another website that I have called inboxmotivator.com. Totally free. Get on there. 365 days of motivation, sales tips, network marketing tips, and so on to help you in your business. Inboxmotivator.com, bootcampwebinar.com. Catch you later, guys. Bye for now. Have a good day. Bye for now.